Techstar is known as the number one accelerator program in the world has launched startups such as SendGrid and CrowdTwist. The Boulder, Colorado based company has even had its own reality show. I'm at Techstars New York, joined by CEO David Cohen, who has recently launched a $28 million venture fund. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, it's always good to remember you have to raise money yourself as a VC. You're not always just, you know, doling it out. That, that's, it's good to have that same pain that the entrepreneurs go through once in a while, but thanks. So what are you planning on doing with the capital you raised? So the fund, uh, roughly speaking, will invest about half the money into companies that emerge from Techstars and roughly half the money in other opportunities that I find nationally. Are there any specific types of companies that you're looking at? Uh, personally, I'm really interested in a category I call web infrastructure. I'm an investor in companies like SendGrid, just email web infrastructure, or Twilio, which is telephony and text messaging. Basically, these companies make it easier to build things on the web that have traditionally been difficult or expensive. I'm also very interested in human-computer interaction, you know, how we deal with the large amount of data that's out there in the world and how we get access to it and interested in vertical search, but my number one criteria is really just great people working on interesting technologies and, and big markets. Generally speaking, what kind of returns have you seen on your investments? What, what kind of timeline do you look at when it, when it comes to an exit via an acquisition or an IPO? Well, I try not to be super focused on what the exact timeline is. You just want to invest in companies that are going to create value. But I've now been at this either as an angel investor with my own money or through funds for about seven years. And it found that five to seven year time frame tends to be when the larger companies start to you know, have those exits. Um, we saw through Techstars you know, a large number of exits that were smaller scale in the one to three year time frame. So that was a, a bit of a surprise, but the larger ones tend to take longer to develop. So Techstars has had nine companies get acquired, but you've also had some other companies fail. What have you learned and what, what are you looking for? Well, I, I mean, I think the, the obvious thing is, you know, you have to have a great team behind a great idea. So it's not enough just to have an awesome idea. I mean, early on, I think we, we invested maybe in a few companies that were really, really interesting thoughts or ideas or spins on a market, but didn't have the team that was going to really deliver that value long term and lead to that exit. We've just learned to really focus on the team. When we screen deals at Techstars, we look for five things in order team, 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 market, idea. So the idea is like the last thing we look at. It's more like bonus points. We try not to get overly focused on that. That's the big lesson from my early investing.